皆さんこんにちは u c o n n e c t のアーサーです今回は和製英語第2番を紹介したいと思います So in a previous video we studied 和製英語 some Japanese version of English where the Japanese meaning is very different from the English meaning Today we're going to look at a few more examples The first example is サラリーマン So, if you translate the word salaryman directly into English, you say salaryman. But you can't say salaryman in English. Why? Because a salary means kyuryo, and everyone who works every day gets a salary. So, salaryman does not mean salaryman. In English, we would say office worker because salaryman w o r k in offices. The next word is kremu. This word claim comes from the English word claim, but you can't say claim in English. A claim means you are putting in an application for a lost item. Instead of saying you are making a claim, we say you're making a complaint. Claim is complaint. The next one is chuck. You know, the thing you use to put together your shirt instead of buttons? We don't say chuck or anything like that in English. In English, chuck is zipper. Chuck is zipper. You can also use this in a verb form where you zip up something, just like you button up something. The final word is danboru. How do you say danboru in English? You don't say danboard, though I've seen that written a couple times. Instead, you say cardboard. Cardboard just means thick paper. And since danboru is made of thick paper, it's called cardboard. Sa, do de shaka? Mata hitotsu, shitere ego ga fuye mashita ne. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below. And don't forget, we send out English tips once a week to your email. Feel free to sign up on our website so you can learn English even without watching these videos. Until next time, enjoy your English adventures. Bye!